Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. It's been a while since I post something during the week. As you may have heard me state in my live stream this past Sunday, I was sick as a dog. It was not COVID, so nothing to worry about, just a common cold. Uh, my wife tomorrow is having surgery, so I'm going to sneak in a video today and discuss something that has plagued a few people, and it's happened to me as well, because I am refilling my CLI 42 cartridges for my Canon Pro 100. And that could happen with just about any other type of cartridge, especially printers that utilize different shades of gray and utilize different shades of magenta and cyan. So what could I be talking about? Well, using the wrong ink, in other words. So here, we have light gray for the Pro 100. So what happens if I add gray, which is a stronger gray, by accident? Well, you really have no other option other than flush the cartridge, start all over again. But here's the catch. If you decide to flush, which I suggest you do, you're going to end up having to have a second cartridge on the printhead because while you are processing this cartridge, it's going to take you two to three days to fully dry it unless you use some expediting type uh, methods like sticking it in a uh, low temperature oven. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. Uh, bad things can happen. Most people will just let it air dry on its own. Um, I suggest, as I always have way back, that you always have two sets of cartridges for your Pro 100 when you decide to refill, as most of you and as well as I are doing. So, again, the rule is this. If you have a light whatever and you accidentally add the stronger version of that color, whether it is gray, whether it is magenta or cyan, you need to flush it. And you better have a second cartridge ready to install on the printhead because you cannot leave that printhead unattended without a cartridge for the several days it's going to take you to dry that cartridge so that you can then refill it. The drying weight is 13.6 grams. So once it reaches that weight, it is dry enough for you to then proceed to refill it. Now, now what if it's the opposite? Say you have a magenta or a cyan or a gray, not this one, but a full strength gray, and you accidentally catch yourself adding the lighter magenta or the light cyan or the light gray. Well, that is not as catastrophic and you could possibly get away by doing this. Remove the plug while you're holding the uncapped cartridge over a cup, let it completely drain. Put a cap back on it, fill it up with the correct strength. In other words, this is going to be now the full strength magenta, cyan, or gray. Let it permeate, drain it once again, remove the orange cap, hold it over a cup, remove the plug, let it drain out. And repeat this a couple of times and you should be okay. It is easier and it will not cause so much color rendition or color reproduction problems going from a cartridge that should have had full magenta and you accidentally added light magenta or photo magenta. You know what I'm getting at, right? It, it's really not going to cause a huge problem. The opposite, however, would, and you need to flush those cartridges. Of course, anyone who deals with this will say, flush them anyway. Well, yeah, you have to really flush them, but you can get away with at least draining it two or three times. You will waste maybe five, six, seven ml of ink every time you do that. And that's really, to me, it's worth the headache of having to process that cartridge all over again. But if you do the opposite, in other words, this is a light gray, and I add gray, full strength gray, that's it. I need to flush it. There is no other option. The same thing goes for these types of cartridges, for the Pro 10. These are the PGI 72, 
you have to do the same thing. You'll have to drain them, somehow drain them, and then proceed with topping off with the correct stronger shade. Say you loaded light magenta or photo magenta onto a magenta cartridge. You can get away with that. But if you did not, if you did the opposite, the photo magenta and you added magenta, you got to have some kind of gadget to allow you to flush it. And let me see if I have one here right here this is one that i made myself this plugs into the cartridge um, rudy hallamum also makes a device that allows you to do that look onto the link on my video descriptions and you will find that attachment it is beautifully made and it allows you to fully flush what seems to be an unflushable cartridge to begin with all right that is it so remember do not make these mistakes what i recommend as practice when you are refilling is to not line everything up and begin refilling but do this instead set up two locations one on the left side and one on the right side you put your bottles on the left side in the correct order that they are held on the print head lift your print lid open and look at the color order set them up in that order set your cartridges maybe on a rudy's holder i don't have one here nearby me but you know what i'm talking about rudy makes his beautifully 3d printed holders for your cartridges cli 42s and also the pgi type cartridges so line everything up if you buy those holders you will get two of them so you will then pick one up put it on the second holder say it is yellow take that bottle of yellow and move it over don't take chances Make sure you double and triple check. In woodworking, they say, measure twice, cut once. You get what I mean? That way you do not ever make a mistake, which I have made. I have made it because I hurried a little bit too much, didn't really pay attention, and I messed up. Imagine, and I'll leave you with this one. This is a nightmare scenario. Imagine you do this on something like a Pro 1000 or a P800, you're using refillable cartridges and say chipless firmware any printer that has stationary cartridges oh lord you don't want to make that mistake and then not notice you did that and that ink begins to flow through that very very long ink delivery system oh boy yeah i don't even want to think about that all right so i'll leave you with that awful note and so we will see you the next time hopefully tomorrow we will be putting out maybe another video my wife is having her surgery tomorrow morning and so we'll see if i need to take care of her then that'll take priority over this but then saturday maybe i'll run a video and then this sunday is so so right now i don't know whether i'm going to do the live stream or not if she feels good enough to stay by herself upstairs my son is coming over anyway so he's going to hang out with mom and so they'll watch Star Trek together. And so maybe I will be able to do a live stream. But it's still a little bit iffy. All right. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And until the next time, as always, happy printing, everyone. And bye-bye.